here welcome back guys so carrying on from what we left off so let's begin to paint in some more overall skin textures this right okay so let me just isolate this entirely now just put all of this i just name this to should i have named this as okay let me name this to base tone okay now just select this space duplicate this put this all the way up here Obviously, I won't be using the same color, so let's change. Let's change the color for this tone of metal, normal, and height. We only really need color and roughness for this. Okay. So I'm going to be picking this really white. <coughs> this really white shade. Okay. Something pretty remote, like so should be fine. Let's see. I like to let me see if we can get it under variation just so just to see which would work better. Mm, white but okay, let's see. So I'm just going to be comparing to kind of figure out which one I can actually use. It's a good one. So let's compare the color. Okay, this has a bit of redness to it. Okay. Maybe I should use this and then just Right, seeing this a third, like so. Okay. Let's see. We can always change this later. This is still non. This is still very much non-destructive. We can always. We can always change this up later on. So okay, let's use this instead. So I'm going to add the black marks to this. Then I will use the Dead brush and I'll turn on symmetry for this so it can work a bit faster. Why? Right, because this is just like a the general turn on to publish. I'm still going to break this up a bit smaller around. Take down opacity, take down the flow, then just spray over this. You can see how with this alone we kind of capture a lot of variation in there from the undertone or rather from the base tone. We're just going to go <coughs> over this. When they get a dash bro, I kind of has, has some the alpha is a bit broken up, so it's just gonna give us that, give us that broken up 
surface texture and topology. Then go to the back, continue on. Going to be doing a lot of rip ups on this. So, the reason why I'm not using a very large brush is because this is a very large brush, kind of creates large patches on top of this. So, the smaller the brush size and the patient's words kind of go over the entire body with a smaller brush size. The much the more variation you have over the entire skin tone. <clears throat> so use the bigger process that will just cover more area faster and creates large large surfaces of texture that are not broken up to the tiniest bit to give that clear or interesting skin tone variation to it. Yeah, I forgot to mention also just since we since since everything we did in here which is everything we did in here are just procedural textures without any hand painting in there. We can always we can always name this to skin based on or a skin red based on then you can always save that to smart a smart material to use later so for, let me just put this out of the way I'll create this quick smart material on top of this so you can see it is so you can see it in here skin red based on so if I should use this on any character it's gonna kind of create procedural redness and variation of um, colors in there coming from the veins and the arteries and the nerves also so that's gonna create a more unique base red tones kind of used for any character of your choice. Most especially most especially Caucasian characters or white characters, yellow characters. For black characters it's slightly different because texturing for black characters is slightly different. You should find on my playlist, you should find my YouTube account, you should find a tutorial in there for for creating dark skin tone so the method is slightly different so let's just keep breaking this up i'll still go over this with a more brighter the more brighter tone for more bright i'm about brighter color for this slightly brighter color maybe even the this one that is even down here so let's just keep going over this I still want to keep some measure of redness to this to some degree. I'm not trying to completely cover it up. Okay. Right, still a lot of tones we still need to add in here because we're not done. We're not done yet. So for the mid tone, there's a lot of break up we still need to add. All right, so this is this is good. For now, it looks a bit painfully, but that's fine. We'll break this up even more later on. So. We have this now, so I'm just going to pull, drag this on top. Now the black marks. 
let me just name this to blush white blush white tone okay name this to white tone okay all right so for this white tone now uh, begin to maybe even take down the opacity even more Now I need a reference for this. I need a reference. Kind of help me understand the regions where I need to paint more whiteness. Okay. Already seen some interesting look to this already up by just painting this on top. By just painting this white out or bright out on top of this, I'm already seeing significant significant difference in the looking the skin texture look. Looking the skin texture looks look a bit more realistic. I'm not really going to completely hide all this redness. I'm not going to complete that with this redness. Just need to just <clears throat> kind of cover it up a bit more. Okay. Pencil over this. All right. You can see how we just we just too alone. You can see how broken up the surface is. Even with a more a more interesting look to it. All right. So. I think now I need to break symmetry. To break symmetry now in here and add some yellowish tone around this. You can see the surface in here. You can see how broken up this is already. Mm, I think. Yeah, I need to add some yellowish tone to this. I think I would need a reference that will kind of give us an idea where roughly where that should be. Okay, around the forehead. Okay, around the cheek. So this spot. Before I do that, uh, something else I would like I would like to do. Something else I would like to do. Um, just I think just below, just below this, probably around the uh, let me create, let me duplicate this, drop this down here. I would add the black marks. Black mask to this. I like to use a more fleshy tone, more fleshy red tone to it. Mm, let's look for a fleshy red tone for this. Okay, something like this should be fine. Then I'm going to be adding a curvature mark to this. So add a generator curvature. Let me hide this for now. Hide this also. Mm, under curvature. 
not edges. Just use cavity for this. Should be. No. Uh, something isn't something doesn't feel right. I'm supposed to have this directly on this game pose. Let's see. Let me look at the cover jump up for this. Okay, you know what? I have a better idea. Since this won't work, add a few layer. This is the cover jump up for the edge. So it's a big dark cover jump map for this. This is at 4K, 4K resolution. Okay, so let me add a filter. No, no, no. Supposed to add levels adjustment to this. Just trying to tighten this. Let me see the marks for this. Trying to tighten this even more. There's something a bit tight in here. This back on. Okay, then reduce this a bit like so. Should be fine. Just to have a bit of grip up around it. Okay. So yeah, let's turn this back on. <coughs> Right. Oh, let's get the yellow tone on top of this on specific regions of the face. Let's see. Alright, um, and the black marks. You can do that sink you know, and the black marks. Let's find a yellow tone in here. Maybe it's not completely, maybe something that looks a bit brownish, kind of. Somewhat brownish tone. Something like this might work. Let me duplicate this just to have a backup. Okay. 
okay something like this let's see it does okay i can see it now not so much though Look how brick symmetry for the face. Now all of this is just <clears throat> is just more or less like more more of a generalized color to it. It's more or less of a generalized color to it. There's still a part where we need to break this up even more. more around the jaw line let's look at the RB though without the base color without any shadow information in there so something like so you can see how so you can actually see how broken up the textures are I think I only see measure for this now. Also keep in mind this is this might be a back and a back and forth thing on here. We have our desired results in there. Okay, let's keep. Okay. We should be fine. Let's see what which other colors we have in here that we can actually implement. Yeah, and this is the lower part of the body is a bit whitish. It's more whitish, so I would. I think this yes this increase the opacity a bit more get more opacity in there and let's completely blush out blush out the lower parts of the body have a more blushed out shape around that okay awesome all right so now this is like let me just do a quick save let me quick save for this Right, okay. Um, you might still need to introduce back some of the redness, but for now, this will be, this will be fine. <laughs> the breakup I was actually talking about 
Mm, no, that's okay. I think we need an int of Modaka Brown. Yeah, this it should work. It should work. So add black marks. This is some underneath the jaw. Let's use this instead. It's a bit more goldish brown. Put some underneath the eye. I'm just looking for the bony region around this to just stamp in this goldish, goldish brown tone on top of that. Okay. Maybe it looks somewhat too so obvious. Let's turn this slightly down like so. Okay. Now for this is like the form parts, at least for me, what actually gives it that extra push to make it feel make it feel and look more unique. Let me show you guys an example. Okay, I think we need more. Probably need more of the yellowish tone around the neck region. All right. So this is where it makes everything. This is the last part that makes everything look a bit more unique. Is I need to pick the exact. Let me see. Like more or less like. Let me see if I can show you guys. Yeah, something like this. I see this broken up texture around the face. What about this is called actually? Probably some UV light something. I don't know what that is called. You can see how it's it's kind of hiding underneath the skin. I need only the general scale of the skin. So we need to kind of add that in. Now this is just skin, some kind of skin disease, but it still gives us a general idea as to what I'm talking about. So for this albedo skin texture, I think we will find something similar to this in here. But I just need to pick the precise tone. It looks more or less like a brownish, goldish brown tone. So maybe I can pick it from the hair. Let's see if we can from here. Let's duplicate this the black marks. Let's see if we can grab this. What makes it more more unique is that. I'm not going to be using this different brush I'm going to be using for this so type in dots brush no not this is it this I hey, forgotten about is it this one I'm not going to share anymore yeah, it seems like it. So let me something tiny like so. I think this should be it. Take down the flow. Increase the spacing a bit more. Yeah, this is definitely. I think I believe this should. This is the brush. 
increase the flow. Is it a visit brush? Yes, yes, this is a brush one. Maybe this person is way too much. Take this down. This is what's gonna break up the surface even more. Let's see how that looks. This is obviously too. This is obviously too brownish, but that's fine. We will change the color later on. Just need to get this around the face even more. Okay. I think I've gotten the right scale for this. Probably turn on symmetry, turn off symmetry rather. So we can have a bit of an interesting variation to it. Part requires a lot of patience. This is what adds that extra uniqueness to the skin. Extra uniqueness that you can almost obviously see on the skin. They just keep breaking this up even more. I think now I can easily turn on symmetry for this. See what we have. You can see how broken of the skin the skin looks now. But I just add in some of this we use the space in a bit more. To get something a bit tighter around it. I'm just going to turn this down. <clears throat> so it blends right down into the skin. Not too obvious and too distracting. Increase the process. So I'm just alternating to uh, I'm just alternating between taking down the both size and increasing the both size just to have a bit more broken up texture to it. Maybe I should even have a separate, completely separate layer with a different brush size to it.
but this definitely gives it a more interesting look to it. Okay. Should probably create a new one. And look for a color tone that you can find around this to just break up the surface even more. She sees just to the redness is picking up quite much. So, um, okay, I see something around the eye. Mm. Let me name this to Frapples on that tone. I would like to get more of this white, white tone under the eye. Take down the opacity, take down the flow. Let's get some whiteness on the eye. around some more parts of the face given all right need some need a bit more of need a bit more break up around this Maybe a bit more, maybe something with the reddish on that one to it. So let's duplicate this. Let's get something a bit reddish. Mm, something like this should be fine. Let's see. I'd like to try another brush for this. Break this down. Black marks for this. Let me try different. These are these are actual dots. What does this do? Let's try this. Let's see. Okay, that's an interesting one. That's a really interesting one. Let's see, increase spacing. Yeah, this looks actually interesting. I won't try this on here before, so I'm just giving it a try for the first time. The idea is just to break up some kind of have some frackles frackles break up on the surface in turn of symmetry for this now Zoom in so actually see what is doing there. Maybe we increase the brush size so we can have some bigger ones around this.
okay but we still need to introduce some more push crap so back of the year will be neglect neglecting the back of the year so let's go back to this let's start with this blush Let's not let's not neglect the back of the air. Okay. Let me take this all the way up first. Let's see. Now we need some redness. We need some redness. So. Duplicate this again at the black marks. Let's get some redness on top of this. We're using this brush instead. Just three. And do that. This is a smaller brush size. So this will be for specific region of the face, not just all over the face. Mm. Okay. All right. Take out symmetry for this. Let me bring back symmetry. Let's get this around here. What is supposed to be more of like a pinkish reddish tone, actually. So let's see if we can. So like this yeah we need definitely need some more for the nose oh now which are this is way too aggressive okay yeah we need some more for the eye For the edge of the year, leave. Okay, let's do quick save. I think we should be rounding up on this as you save. Okay, save. Uh, Let's try this mandolin on top of this. Let's see what we have. Yeah, I think it should work. Probably we need a bit more, a bit more whiteness on the face. Probably I should use, use this. Let's use let's use this blush instead. Let's use this blush instead to introduce more whiteness on top of the face. But careful though, we don't want to go overboard.
hopefully I'm, maybe I should have done this in a separate layer that would have been better I guess Okay. Now let's get a closer look on the skin. You can see the breakups. You can see how the breakups are small. You can see how the breakup breakups are small realism. So it's makes it feel a bit more interesting and more unique even with a more unique surface to it okay awesome that's fine so in the next lesson maybe if i come back to it and i see something else that i want to fix but for the most part this is i would say this is generally it's say maybe um say maybe on your own you have something you might want to oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i think you no know, Need to add some more redness in. Nah, don't to go overboard and ruin the entire surface. Maybe a bit more redness on the new though. So much. I'm not symmetric for this. Nah, that's too reddish. Just blow it out some more, like so. So now the next lesson will go around the lips and then begin to add some more, rather detail the the lips and any other parts we feel needs a bit more detail in there. We will go in and begin to. Add all of those to make it a bit more unique. Mm. Let me see. I think I feel I should break this up. Add some more. Introduce a little more redness to the face. Let's see the sound here. Oh, some black. I should probably do this, create a new separate layer for this. Let me name this too. Fracos face. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I should actually start adding the black marks around this first. I don't know if here. Too bright though, so let's take this down a notch. Probably some more like so. Alright, so we'll see you guys in the next lesson. We'll start adding some more detailing to so some other parts of the mesh. Let me add some more to the nose. Just need some more redness. Huh? Need some more redness. Probably gonna say good base pass for the leaves, just just as a base pass. For now. Definitely need some from the eye. Okay. All 
gitu ya. Oke, okay. kosong. Alright, so do you see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.